Hello everyone, my name is Michael at Michaelstutorials.com and in this video I'm going to give you a brief summary of UMMO, a Unity MMO solution. Um, my favorite Unity MMO solution. Um, so basically I'm just going to show you the Asset Store page um, really quickly. It's got a review. Um, but I just want to show you two things. Um, under the features list that really stick out to me. One is create an MMO from any single player game with a few clicks. That is very truthful in, in its feature uh, because this is very possible. Um, it's a little more than a few clicks but like I said a little more because um, there's a little bit of typing in there because you have to change input as seen in the last videos. Um, but that's it really. Just change input and then press a button and then you're done. Um, yeah, so switch between authoritative and non-authoritative network infrastructure with a single click. That is also very true, as seen in my very last video about this, actually. Um, so you might want to watch those videos. I have a few videos on UMMO just because I love it so much, um, and it's been very helpful to me in multiplayer games. Um, so yeah, that's really all I wanted to highlight on here. Let's go ahead and hop into Unity. Um, and this is what you get when you open it up um, and you install it into a project. Um, I only have this right now, so let's go ahead and open up the demo scenes. We have one, two, three demo scenes. This script here, you don't really need that, but let it, let it do its job. Um, yeah, so there we go. Um, and now we have our basic demo scene. This is uh, the Viking demo scene for an authoritative server. Um, this is for dynamic character setup, and this is for, I believe, it says area of interest, but it should be the non-authoritative server, which it is, um, and it's the non-authoritative setup example. Uh, I'm just going to show you the authoritative example because, frankly, it's the best example here, um, and authoritative is much better than non-authoritative, if you don't know. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, build settings and add current build. We'll, we'll just put it on desktop as as. We'll build that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and close out whatever opens so I can ad make some adjustments to this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on UMMO while I wait for that to open. And I'm going to click test Unity Editor is client and other is server. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make it server, just so that I can show you other people connecting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the documentation. But as you can see, in the Unity editor, it is extremely well documented, and you can even turn it off at will. Um, so it's it's very well done. It's very well made. Um, it's heavily commented. It is, frankly, an amazing system. You have timeout settings, so you can time a player out after so long of being idle, you have a data transmission, which is essentially a level of detail. Um, you have a ton of stuff. You have this custom module, which is uh, just something that you can make to extend UMMO, essentially. Um, and yeah, you can do that now. It's a new feature. Um, there is sync legacy animations um, and simply lerp transform. Basically, what these modnet um, prefabs do is they allow you to extend the way the network view is seen, as I remember. Um, and it can make it so that no matter what ping you're at, there's basically no lag or no skipping out, you know. So those are very useful. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, give this a build and run. And that is windowed as I'll just open it from my desktop. Okay. So as you can see, we are now in the server. Everything looks very smooth. Now if I was to connect another one, you can see that multiplayer does work. And there we go. As you can see, it's all working. Everything very smooth, you know. 
Um, if I go up here, there is a press space to talk to Ulf. I think you have to get up closer to him. Oh, uh, that's not working ever since um, the developer re-enabled Jump. Because Jump wasn't enabled before the ModNet prefabs came along. Um, because it caused some problems, but that's been fixed. And we have to change... Well, he has to change the way that um, you interact with the NPCs that he has in here. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, this is generally what it looks like. You can go around and you can connect collect coins and you can watch the race that's going to come up which is that big event um, so it has an event system already implemented it has has some good stuff in here um, but the first thing I want to do is collect this there we go and as you can see everything is it's very smooth see and that's really you know, the basics of UMMO. Let me show you more of the in-editor stuff. So you need the UMMO prefab to start, um, which you can find by going into the UMMO folder and then prefabs, and then instantiate this. This is the UMMO prefab. You need this in every scene that will have multiplayer. Um, and what this does is it's essentially the main server script, you know, so it's what does all the heavy work and then there are the modules main are the connection GUI um, so this over here under connection status and server and you know login uh, the distance filter is basically the LOD that I mentioned earlier level of detail um, that basically makes it so at a certain distance things will be turned off to save you know energy um, and then there is simple spawning and disconnecting that makes it so you can have max connections and spawn position tolerance, which it essentially randomizes where you spawn so you're not spawning on top of another player, uh, which is very useful. Um, and it handles disconnections very well. And then there are the net objects, which handle the network view stuff, uh, which is I already talked about it, the simply lerp and the interpolated transform. Um, and then there's custom where you can add your own net object modules. Um, so basically, what you'll want to do is you'll instantiate UMMO, the prefab, and then you'll go into main and you'll instantiate connection GUI, very simple, distance filter medium, and simple and spawning, simple spawning and disconnecting. And then you'll drag them like so under modules from your hierarchy into all these as they go. And then if you make any custom modules, you can just drag them in right here under Custom Modules Array, which is very simple. And then by default, timeout settings will be unchecked. You can check it. And then seconds to check for timeouts. So five seconds to check. Seconds until disconnect due to timeout. And 300, about five minutes. So I'm going to make that 15 just because I prefer that. Show debug hints. Um, that's like if you go in here and you'll see debug hints um, But we don't need that and we don't not need it. So I'm just gonna leave it initialize security means I think it's only for Authoritative server, but it is security for anti-cheat um, It's not going to do all the anti-cheat work for you, but it's very helpful Authoritative server setup means that the server is essentially handling all the heavy-duty stuff uh, such as transform and other things um, and if you uncheck that, it's now a non-authoritative server. Um, just like that. Authoritative, non-authoritative, and authoritative again. Um, as shown before, you have the documentation. Um, when you put in the UMMO prefab, you'll get this game object called UMMO underscore GUI text. Um, this is what this is right here. Um, so you can change that around, make this custom text oh apparently you can't change it I never actually did that oh well that's not important you can actually just go ahead and delete it if you want like so get rid of that I find that annoying personally um, but yeah you can just delete that um, what else is there really to show about this this is really all there is to it I can show you the other um, test scene, but let's go ahead and do that now.
So you have this guy, it's a very popular Unity hero, we might say. Um, and this is non-authoritative. Oh, what's this? But yes, this is a non-authoritative server, um, and client handles most things on here, but it's not as secure as an authoritative server, and it's not as great and amazing and awesome as an authoritative server, at least not in my opinion, for what I'm doing. Um, and I'll show you the last demo scene really quickly. There you go. And that's really all there is to it. Um, yeah. I think that's all I really need to show for this. Um, if you have any questions or if you need anything about, you know, with help with UMMO, um, you, can, you can contact support or you can contact me. I know enough about it to help you out, get you started. Um, but if you need, I highly recommend contacting support because they know more about it and they respond really quick, all right? They're, it's a fantastic group. So, yep. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.